Pearl's Walk Productions. Imagine, if you will, a territory almost as large as all of the rest of New England put together. Or if you will, you will have some idea of the size of the extreme northeastern state in this land of ours, the Pine Tree State, the state of Maine. Think back to your American history classes. Chances are you learned a lot about World War I. But how much did you learn about the Spanish flu outbreak? That flu killed far more people than the war around the world and here in Maine. Tonight, News Center's Jennifer Rooks has a special report on the pandemic of 1918. They called it the grip. By September of 1918, the U.S. had been involved in World War I for nearly a year and a half. On the home front, the war effort dominated daily life, and nowhere more so than in Bath, Maine, where the population had doubled to support the shipyards working overtime for the Navy. Roughly around May, April, May 1918, when, you know, the carnage of the First World War is, is graphic and horrendous. But at the same time, this, this unknown enemy is starting to sweep through the US, Europe, the trenches. And it is recorded by the Spanish press, uh, and it becomes dubbed as the Spanish flu, because they, they are neutral. of the lessons that the Spanish flu hit hard and fast. Just read the newspapers. On September 19, 1918, the Bath Daily Times reported only a few cases of the flu. Six days later, all schools were closed. By September 28, the paper reported 350 cases in Bath. On October 3, 1,200. And on October 8, just two and a half weeks since that first little article, 1,800 people in Bath were suffering from the grip. Bath, where shipbuilders lived and worked in close quarters, was one of the city's hardest hit by the pandemic. Another was Lewiston. In 1918, the Lewiston mills were filled with immigrants, mainly from Quebec. And since their work was deemed so important, the mills did not shut down. Two-thirds of those who died were between the ages of 10 and 50, more than half between the ages of 20 and 40. And
Phoenix Hall in Portland has been around since 1815. It has, so it's it's seen some stuff, Allie. Right. Uh, and when things closed down at the beginning of the pandemic, members there tried to find documents from the 1918 flu pandemic. They didn't find anything until last week when they were cleaning out a desk in the library. Check this out. It's a typewritten letter dated April 1919. It talks about how 1,088 fewer books were taken out in 20, uh, in 1918, that is, compared to 1917, because the library had to close for about a month during the height of the pandemic. The past, the Mechanics Hall says the letter is interesting because it talks about how much the library was used back then as well, and because it could have easily been thrown away. It also helps them think about ways to make sure their library remains accessible during this pandemic.